Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Hayward Stage, part of Overture Weekend. A celebration to celebrate the reopening of the Festival Hall, which I'm sure you'll know has been shut for two years. Uh, the whole weekend, we've got stacks and stacks of things for you to do, see, enjoy, participate in. Uh, it includes ballroom dancing, a silent disco tonight, if, you've, uh, if you're still here very late on. We've got Stamron Dance this afternoon, which is fantastic along the uh, riverfront. And we've also got a fantastic big dance piece called Flag. So can I please welcome Frank Turner. This is, this is ranking quite highly on my list of strange gigs. Um, I was in a, as did last night, I was in a bar in the middle of the countryside last night playing with a mad Irishman called Brian who made me drink until sunrise. So my throat is dry and my brain is drier. But I'm going to attempt to do something about that. Uh, this is a song that I thought of a title for on the way here. Uh, this song's called St. Christopher's Coming Home and it goes something like this. Choked with cigarettes and sin And I've been busy so much lately That every time I get some time to spend I end up drunk or sleeping in And I miss you, you're busy too We call each other up when we're messed up And say we'll meet in the new year But it's perfectly clear that we'll do no such thing Come the spring Shadows on the corners of my days When I am old and I am settled In the place where I will stay When my wandering meanderings Have finally reached their end Yeah, whatever else may be I will not forget my friends Friday evening Barely even begins before my phone begins to ring with people asking where I am. And I can't suppress a smile, we talk a while. Chances are that I am far away, and so I'm phased out of the plan. That's how I miss out on another night. Kind of night when nothing really happens, yeah, but everything goes down. And at the end, I'm just a promise to pick up the phone when I'm in town. But when the evening casts its shadows on the corners of my days, and I am old and I am settled in the place where I will stay. When my wandering meanderings have finally reached their end, yeah, whatever else may be, may my friends remember me. brain hurts. All right, so we'll move on. This is a song about um, being on tour the whole time, and um, its its irony factor has increased by 7.3% since writing it, because somebody stole my guitar when I was on tour in Finland, which was the, pretty much the worst thing that's ever happened in the history of the human race. Uh, so anyway, this song's called Sea Legs, and it goes something like this. Moving, keep moving, the tour never stops In the light of petrol stations and cheap corner shops I've finally figured a list of the things that I've got The things that I'm not I need you, I need you, I need you to care When I'm moving it's soothing to know that you're there And then when I get home I can breathe you like heady fresh air For as long as I dare Honey, I 
I'm sorry, cause I've got my sea legs again. If I stand on dry land for a minute, I feel sick, and then I have to start moving again. From Glasgow to Moscow, from London to Lille Sat on the platform or next to the wheel I haven't got space on this postcard to say how I feel But that was the deal I miss you, I miss you, but I don't ask your help When I'm out on the road, I look out for myself I look after my guitar, my clothes, and my wallet, and my health And nothing else Honey, I'm sorry, cause I've got my sea legs again if I stand on dry land for a minute, I feel sick and then I have to start moving And honey, I'm sorry, cause I've got my sea legs again if I stand on dry land for a minute, I feel sick and then I have to stop moving on again and on my phone again. Well, why don't you want me to say when I'm this far away? And you don't know where I am. Well, you're not the only I don't think I've ever played a gig this early in the day. Certainly not having been to sleep the night before. Anyway, I feel like playing new songs today, and I'm the one with the guitar, so ha! Uh, I finished this song a couple of days ago, and I played it correctly last night for the first time. Uh, so, this is a song called Mr. Richard's Retirement Party. I should point out at this stage that my set list is kind of being dictated by the fact that there are young children among us here, and most of my songs seem to have dirty words in them, and I'm, I feel really bad about that. So I'm playing, my, this is my clean set, and I'll, I'll do a dirty one later on the second show I'm doing today or something. All right, this song's called R Mr. Richard's Retirement Party. It goes like this. One fine day near the end of the tax year, Mr. Richard's was gripped by a new fear who would be at his retirement party though he still had years to go before he slept over the edge of the workforce the quest John stood And in his wake there came an army What price creature comfort What is this I'm really all about True a line between Work and living And work was winning out And work for 
decade from his career And he thought of all his friends from back home All the crazies, all the strangers, all the lovers, all the losers The beautiful girls that he'd ever known And he took a look around his office and wonder why he was still here What price creature comforts and what is this life really all about To a line between work and living the work was winning out and what for half his life to spend the end just feeling tired out That's when he realized he scrimped and saved all his precious days so he could buy Ices and microwaves And he only looks forward to his holidays and that's when his roof caved in And it would be nice to have holiday homes And healthy bank statements And fat little kids and I guess you can be happy to dream All your dreams as camcorder records Of all that you did but as soon as you're sleeping Does it really matter what mattress on. As long as you're living and having fun He'd always laughed at the dropouts And said that he could never ever live that way But the truth is Mr. Richards was a coward Yeah, he was afraid Mr. It just decided on the very next morning to make his work and life the same thing. He left his desk, hit the road, and he never retired. Thanks. I got it right for the second time. Yeah, check me. All right. Okay, there's a story that goes with this song. Ooh, there we go. Uh, um, there's a story that goes with this song. I had an American ex-girlfriend who was wonderful in every way. Uh, she was tall and blonde, and uh, she even she used to be a lifeguard on the beaches in California with a little red float and the red swimming costume and all that. And um, and essentially, I was putty in her hands. Uh, and she was perfect in every way apart from her tendency of sleeping with other people while we were going out. Which is a shame, really. Uh, so I started writing this song when I thought she was wonderful and lovely. And then I found out the real deal. And then I finished the song. So you can have fun guessing at which point in the writing process I spoiled what was going on. Uh, this, song's called Sun this song is called Sunshine State. And it goes something like this. Finally came day on I had to take you to the airport and put you on a plane and so you left me left me alone on an empty tube train deep under the ground while you were bathed in sunlight high above the clouds I needed you here to be my sunshine in London town California's had more than its fair share You left me to Small skies and to rain soaked concrete, Morrissey and Robert Smith and complicated streets that I know on which you lost your patience and your way the way you always did on still grey rainy days. I needed you here to be my 
sunshine in London town California's had more than its fair share of beating summer sun and shining seas but it doesn't have a shred of honesty, another truth, yeah, Neil Young and Johnny Mitchell were Canadians, I guess that makes sense, they had their fill and then they moved away again, you're not alone, we all sometimes use words that we don't understand, your love was only just skin deep and in the end it gave me you might have been my sunshine, but I'd rather have a rainy day. California gets just what it deserves. Thanks. So as I mentioned earlier, I was a little sort of taken aback by the, by the, the prevalence of children over here, but um, seeing as there's some parents who actually know in the audience, I'm going to ask if you mind if I swear in this next song. Is that all right? Not least because this song's for you guys. I grew up with, I'm not really a folk singer, I'm a punk kid pretending to be a folk singer in order to be cool, because apparently it's in this season. Um, but I decided to give the game away with a song about it, and this is for Lil and Kath, and this song's called Back in the Day, and I'm not only going to play the intro to it right the very first time, so here we go. And I was just a skinny lad on holiday by the sea I met a girl in a rancid shirt and the tape she gave to me With a black black first four years and a minor threat discography And punk rock saved my life Going down the red eye back in 1998 household names and staying out too late This angry adolescent found an outlet for his hate And punk rock saved my life This year was a pipe dream and we knew it all along Just like fucking idiots think your facts are wrong And everyone just needs to be an extremist when they're young Fucking with your parents makes you grow up These while sitting round at home Flicking through the catalogues And distros at the shows Circle bits and sing-alongs Come on, let's fucking go And punk rock saved my life the Little dream is over It was never gonna last Everybody's moved along And it's all in the past But when I was just 16 Up in my colours to the mast Punk rock's in the ink that's in my skin The attitude in every song I sing Take the world we didn't win we probably didn't even say my life is true But I bet we had a better time than you It's too early in the morning to be playing songs like that Thank you, alright uh, So, I don't know what I'm doing for time I've, uh, anyone, anyone bothered? 25 to, alright, that means in theory I have another 25 minutes to play, but that may be a rash thing to do. Anyway, this is another new song. Um, this is a song about um, trying to remember, trying to identify the people who are worth kind of holding on to in life and, uh, and hanging on to them and ignoring every, all, all the bastards, essentially. Uh, this song's called I Knew Jail for Proof Rock Before He Got Famous, and it goes like this. Let's begin at the beginning. We're lovers and we're losers. We're heroes and we're pioneers. And we're beggars and we're choosers. We're skirting round the edges of the ideal demographic We're almost on the guest list, but we're always stuck in traffic We've watched our close associates up and play their parts They're chatting up the it girls, yeah, and they're tearing up the charts While we were paying with coppers to get our rounds in at the bar We're the C team, we're the almost famous old friends of the stars
Justin is the last of the great romantic poets And he's the only one among us who is ever gonna make it And we planned a revolution from a cheap Southampton bistro I don't remember details, but there were English boys with banjos And Jay is our St. George and he's standing on a wooden chair He sings songs and he slays dragons and he's losing all his hair And Adam is the resurrected spirit of Grand Parsons In blood instead of rhinestone And living in South London And no one's really clear about Tommy's job description But it's pretty clear he's vital to the whole damn operation Day Day just smells the strangest trees of sacred skull I know And so enhanced the scamper up to victory In the city we call home and they won't change their Waiting to be famous and they're wondering why they do this But I know I'm not the one who is so bitterly optimistic But I'm the one who's got the microphone here so just remember this Yeah, well life is about love, lost minutes and lost evenings About fire in our bellies and about furtive little feelings And all the aching amplitudes that set our needles all up flickering Get another round in at the bar. There we go. <laughs> Tired now. Right, I'm going to play some older songs. Um, seeing as I seem to have broken my cherry on the swearing front, I'm going to crack on with this next one. Uh, I've also played one song about um, uh, <laughs> violent intentions towards one of ex girlfriend so I might as well complete the set. And uh, this is a song about drowning my other ex girlfriend in a sack. Um, <laughs> This song's called Worst Things Happen at Sea, it goes like this. Honestly, relax, my dear, it's clear that we're done. It doesn't take a scientist to figure out that one. It's obvious the way you move and the way you hold your head. The way you hide your pretty eyes and shift across the bed You say worse things happen at sea You say worse things have happened to me Well honestly I'll be fine, this isn't my first time I've taken blows before and every time I have survived You made it clear you didn't care, you never did pretend And in the end at least you never try to fuck my friends You say worse things happen at sea You say worse things have happened to me Bitter eyes to the bedroom floor And we're not gonna talk anymore Well honestly it doesn't matter I know better than To cry over spilled milk Wasted effort, spoiled plans We're adults here, so shed no tears I'm sure we can be friends I'll nod and smile and watch you in the arms of other men You see worse things happen at sea You see worse things have happened to me Bitter eyes to the bed jump talk anymore We've got nothing to talk for Lost the RST It has a much at stake And I hope you're doing fine Cause me I'm doing fucking great And I wouldn't want to waste another second I'm not my place. 
face I know your face So you hide yours and I'll keep to mine See what things happen to us Things have happened to me. Fill our eyes with that charm, Lord. And we're not gonna talk anymore. We've got nothing to talk for. And you're nothing to be sorry for. Worst things happen at sea. Whew. Thanks a lot. I'm gonna play a quieter song now because uh, that's a tiring tune to play. Um, a friend of mine, this song was kind of written as part of a bet. A friend of mine said to me, You only ever write songs about pointless sex and depressing failed relationships. And I said, That isn't true. And, uh, and he, he said, Prove me wrong. So I did. I wrote a love song. Unfortunately, it was about somebody who doesn't love me back, which is terribly tragic. Uh, this is the moment where you'll go, oh, like in a pantomime. Um, nope, okay. Yeah, oh, there we go. There's <laughs> one person. Uh, this song is called A Decent Cup of Tea, and it goes like this. It hadn't been a day when everything had turned out right. She called me up and asked me to come over in the night. To make her cups of tea and listen quietly As she starts to list the latest list of bastards Who have trampled on her heart And she summers by my seas But she winters without me and she cries into her tea That she's secretly lonely And oh me What am I to do? It's obvious to me But she never seems to see I see her in the nightclubs and I meet her in the bars At rooftop after parties Or crammed into friends' cars And we talk about the weather And how she drowns her pain in drink And I nod and never ever dare to tell her What I think And she summers by my sea she winters without me And she cries into her tea That she's secretly lonely And oh me What am I to do? It's obvious to me but she never seems to see that it's not about the days when everything has turned out right Yeah, it's more about the moments when she calls me in the night To make her cups of tea and wash the weary worries from her head And then to draw the pain out slowly as I slip her into bed And I slip this information into all our conversations but she never seems to listen And she never seems to see Thanks a lot. Uh, so I think I'm going to play three more songs and then leave you in peace. The first of these is a story about... Uh, it's a song about staying awake all night at a party and the horrible, horrible things that happen at 10 o'clock in the morning when you haven't been to sleep. Uh, and the title of this song was uh, created by my friend Steve staying awake all night at a party and chatting this girl up for eight hours who then didn't sleep with him and went home. Uh, and she spent the whole time telling him about where she'd been in her gap here with photos and like a little map and everything. 
Uh, and so as a result, this song is called I Really Don't Care What You Did In Your Gap Year. And it goes like this. We were only supposed to go out for the night. It's been a few hours now since it got light. We're a mess. The worst part is we couldn't care less. And there's water in the ashtray and there's ash in the sink. The carpet's mostly soaking, but there's nothing to drink. We're a steak. We're starting to regret staying awake. Starting my day Instead I am sat here Down in dregs of yesterday All the while Trying to prop up both ends of my smile I'm lonely, but it's hard to admit it. When everybody thinks that you're fine all the time and you're not. So we were only supposed to go out for the night. But who am I kidding? Yeah, try as I might, I can't stop until I scream. Two more songs and I'm out of your hair. This next song, uh, I should do the, the, the technical plugging bit. I've got an album out in shops and you should buy it because it's brilliant. 
Uh, and this song is on it, and it was the single and all the rest of it. This is a true story about going out on a Saturday night and coming home on Monday with very little idea what happened to Sunday. Uh, and it remains a mystery. The weirdest thing about it was I actually had stuff to do on the Sunday, like people to meet and sort of discussions to have. And it turned out I'd actually done everything I needed to do. Uh, but I had no recollection of it whatsoever, which was kind of disturbing because it means I can maintain a business discussion when I'm completely wrecked off my tits. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure that's a healthy thing at all. Anyway, this song's called The Real Damage. It goes like this. Woke up on a sofa in an unfamiliar house Surrounded by sleeping folks that I didn't know Failing to find my friends, I decided that it was clearly time to go So I made my way out of the door as quietly as I could There was no one there I knew to say goodbye Squinting in the sadly sobering sunshine of the Sunday morning light I started out so happy, now I'm hung over and down It was about then that I realised I was halfway through the best years of my life So I scanned the local landmarks, trying to find out where I was Or maybe even find a bus back home I was longing for a shower for clean sheets and a charger for my phone Suddenly it hit me that I got paid this Friday last And so I rifled through my pockets for some change All I found was a packet of broken cigarettes And a sinking sense of shame Cause I started the night with all my friends and I ended up alone Oh yes, I started out so happy, now I'm hung over and down It was about then that I realised I was halfway through the best years of my life And I had to ask myself well, Dirty looks made me rack my brains The real damage started to sink in It had been quite a heavy weekend But I could just about remember where I'd been Cause I started the night with all my friends And I ended up alone Oh yes, I started out so happy Now I'm hungover and down I stood on a street corner and I felt a little sick It was about then that I realised I was halfway through the first day of the week Thanks Alright, so I'm going to play uh, one more song Yes, uh, right, 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 right. It's very nice that there's lots of people here now. I'm imagining most people have no idea who I am. My name's Frank Turner. Hello. Um, uh, yes, uh, and I'm playing again later today. Does anyone know where? It's on a balcony somewhere. Level 5, balcony, the man with a uh, program, thank you very much. At 8 o'clock, possibly? Yeah, there we go. Check it out. Check me. I know where I've got to be. Um, uh, so yeah, come along and I promise to play different songs then as well. Um, uh, so yes, thanks everyone for kind of paying attention and everything else. Um, this last song is about um, uh, sort of m my close circle of friends and associates. We call ourselves folk singers. Other people call ourselves call us uh, unemployed. Uh, and we, we hang around and we play songs and, and dream about how one day we're going to be Bob Dylan. And it's never going to fucking happen. But... Um, the point is, th the point is, that's not actually why we do this. We do, you know, for the love of the music, and it's important to remember that. And in the music industry, a lot of people do forget that, and it really 
grinds my gears. So anyway, that's what this song's about. Uh, this song's called The Ballad of Me and My Friends. Uh, my name's Frank Turner. Thanks a lot for checking me out. Everybody's got themselves a plan And everybody thinks they'll be the man Including the girls, the musicians Who lack the friends to form a band The singer-songwriters The rest of us are DJs Or official club photographers And tonight I'm playing another Nambuka show So I'm going through my phone book Texting everyone I know Quite a few I don't Whose numbers found their way into my phone But they might come along anyway You never really know The destination and take a fucking flight. We're going nowhere slowly, but we're seeing all the sights, and we're definitely going to hell. But we'll have all the best stories to tell. Yes, I'm. Stories to tell. My name's Frank Tanner. Thanks for paying attention. I'll see you again. Thanks. <laughs>